Haley is really, really good with words. And Jeremy and I, uh, we were actually <laughs> really uh, nervous about naming the record. And um, I, I don't know. I. <laughs> We were like really like, dude, I don't know what to call it because you're, you're trying to come up with like a word or a few words that embody an entire work, you know. So when Haley brought to us the self-titled thing, it, she literally said it before we threw out any ideas. I don't think that it was an intentional thing to, to write a sequel to, to Let the Flames Begin, but uh, I started writing music to a song and it, it just had a really similar feeling, you know, like a, a similar emotional connection. and. Uh, I think when Haley started writing to it, you know, that theme just kind of came out, you know, and, and you know, some of the lyrics kind of mirrored, kind of, you know, alluded to the, uh, to let the flames begin. Yeah. And I don't know, it, it kind of, it definitely wasn't planned. We didn't go into the record being like, we need to make a sequel to this, but it kind of just uh, organically happened. The new single for our new album is called Still Into You. And we played it last night for the first time at our South By show. And then we, on top of that, as we were playing it, posted it online, the, the studio version for our fans to listen to and read the lyrics and all that. So it's on YouTube right now as we're talking to each other. It is on YouTube. And we're psyched. <laughs> the Now video had this sort of post-apocalyptic meets, like, way into the future sort of vibe and the message behind it is really that there's all this struggle going on and there's all this pain and bitterness and this cycle this violent cycle that keeps going on and at some point you have to stop the cycle it remind it reminded me a lot of looper um, which I, I loved the, the message behind that movie and the end of it was so powerful to me and this video when we read the treatment had that potential and I thought like we just we really need to pull out all the stops to make it like to make it come across that way. And I think the inspiration behind the look that I had, it was that ar all around me and the guys, what, there was all this violence and there was all this fighting and this sort of war situation. And there needed to be something that stood apart from that and it needed to be a little bit otherworldly because I think that there's something so transcendent about love and about even sometimes just being positive. You know, I, I think that we live in a world where a lot of people just go straight for the negative before really even thinking about the other side. I think the point was to not only show that with actions, but to sort of mirror, like just to, to be a manifestation of that and to look as different as possible from all the other people that were in the video.